Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I'm Dave McHugh, joined by head coach Dave Trumbo of the women's volleyball team. And coach, uh, since we last talked, four games, two on two weekends, uh, both sets at home, and you come away with a split against some pretty tough competition. We're not used to losing. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, the, you know, we, we had Eastern, uh, we had them right where we wanted, really. We, yeah. you know, we came out, played really well in the first set, and we're up the second set, 18 to 16, uh, a hands call on our setter. And it was one of those when the setter doesn't know that it's a hands call. She usually knows. Right. And she knew it was maybe. She did not, you know, so really kind of threw her. And it really made her a little bit more tentative. He called a couple more as she got more tentative, uh, which made her a little bit, you know, more tentative. And we, sure. were, and we didn't play extremely well after that. Um, Eastern's a very good team. Yeah. Um, took advantage of it. Took advantage of it. You know, a match we could have and should have won. Uh, so we came away with a lot, actually, even in losing, with some confidence that, hey, we play a little bit better, yeah. we can beat these guys. Uh, so it was a fun match. I mean, the girl, they love that, inten that, that sure. the intensity, and um, the rallies and the defense were just incredible. You know, just super athletes on both teams. So they really, even though we did lose, they enjoyed playing the match. They look forward to seeing them again. Yeah, well, Steph, we'll talk about seeing them here shortly. Uh, once again, uh, tough match there. Rebound against Wilkes, though even Wilkes gave you a little bit of a test. I know in the middle there you get that. But, and so you come away from that first weekend with a split. Not Obviously you want to win both, but at least you come away with one and one. Right. And, well, in Wilkes we kind of played every. We were able to play yep. everybody, and yep. uh, which is always nice. And um, we really played pretty well against Wilkes. Yep. We relaxed a little bit, but we needed to get back in the win column. You know, how are you going to respond after a loss? is uh, one of the things that, you know, a very young team, you don't know exactly how they're going to play, so we were pleased. And then the next weekend you face off against Gettysburg uh, in the first of a try match uh, and again, another one of those kind of like Eastern where it's a bit of a battle and, and things just didn't go your way, but of course not playing at full strength either. Well, Gettysburg's the kind of team where they can be really good or really bad, and they were really, really good against us. Uh, we did not have our number one middle or our number one outside playing uh, in that match, which did hurt. But Gettysburg's defense was phenomenal. Mm. They blocked us 10 times, a lot like the Eastern game. Eastern blocked us eight 18 yeah. times. We beat Eastern in every statistical category but the blocking. <laughs> and, you know, and we held Eastern to, I wanted to say that, we held them to a hitting percentage of 113. Pretty the good. Top, one of the top hitters in the nation. She hits over 400. We held her to 280. So, and we did a great job defensively. And Gettysburg also blocked us well. So what, guess what we're working on practice? I, I'm guessing getting over the block. Yeah, hitting around that block, <laughs> using the block. Yeah. And so, but Gettysburg did a great job, beat us. And uh, then Stevens Tech just absolutely destroyed Gettysburg. Right. And so, uh, and so Stevens Tech thought they were going to get that team they saw in the morning. No. No. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> no. They they got they got the real Stevenson team. Well. And uh, we did get one of our hitters back. Uh, and. Uh, we, we just played much better. We passed the ball. And that's been the key the this well. season. You've been able to bounce back after a tough loss, even in a tri-match scenario, where you take the first one, and momentum can certainly kind of fuel right into the next one. Obviously, the, the Eastern, you had a couple more matches off as it was a quad, but then Gettysburg right back at it two matches later. Able to rebound, and so you only have three losses on the season. You know, we talked earlier about even that was expected before that point. So yeah. the team's really responding well despite adversity and despite tough losses like Eastern and Gettysburg. Oh, I was real pleased. I mean, Stevenson comes in with like 10, 11, 12 match winning streak. Yeah. They're 18 and 3. So, and they look really good against uh, Gettysburg. So we're all able to sit there and watch them and scout. Uh, so, but they, our kids are all responding, which I, I was most pleased with his. You know, Steven scouted us. They did not serve to our All-American Libero, Sammy Perola. Yeah. Well, we had three kids that all passed phenomenal because they just s serve around Sammy, and they did a good job of that. But the other kids, Annika Swartz, Kara Anderson, and... Oh, boy. It's all right. <laughs> it happens uh, to the best of us. Yeah. Uh, and um, oh, Deanna Bradbury. Yeah. All, and of course, Annika and Deanna being freshmen. Right. They all passed fantastic and actually graded out higher than Sammy. And that's actually a great thing because that doesn't happen very sure. often. And for the three of them to pass like that, that's what it's going to take to get to the next level because teams will sit around Sammy and try not to It's certainly Sammy. amazing watching matches that it seems the ball always goes to Sammy. I keep thinking up there as much <laughs> as I'm just, you know, not technically rooting against you guys. I keep wondering, hey, 
has anyone figured out? Don't go to her. But yeah. the ball attracts to her. But the the last four games are are interesting because a lot of teams that, that have regional ramifications, even outside regional ramifications, mm -hmm. uh, to the rest of the season. You have eight of the next eleven on the road in some capacity or another, and all of these again have regional ramifications. You're going to see Eastern again. You're going to see Juniata. You're going to face off against opponents you know are going to have a big impact. This is a big finish to the year. It really is, and this is exactly the way we drew it up. Uh, we were fortunate enough to play really well at the beginning of the season, put ourselves in this position. Carnegie Mellon, Eastern, Juniata, Muhlenberg, all teams that probably are ahead of us in the regional rankings right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can really help ourselves with a couple of signature wins here at the end. I felt like we got our first signature win against Stevenson. Uh, excuse me, against Stevens, Stevens Tech yeah. you know, over the weekend where a really good team came in that was really hot. And we had just lost and we responded with a win and a 3-0 win at that. Man, certainly it's going to be more pressure. Conference play still kind of in Mm -hmm. in focus here a little bit, trying to make sure you keep that home court advantage. How do you kind of weigh the focus, the focus of making sure you wrap up the conference the way you want to, while at the same time positioning yourself as best as possible for a potential NCAA berth? Well, we really know. The, what we don't know, we, we want to win our conference tournament. Right. First off, we've done it two years in a row. We want to do keep it. Keep it going. We, yeah. we, got it. we have to keep it going. We're in super position conference-wise. We would have to lose twice. Uh, in the next four conference matches not to host. Right. So there's a pretty good chance that we are going to host that. Our goal is getting better because we know we're going to face Messiah 11. The chances are good. We're going to get past that, 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 that one seed against 4-5 or five play in, and we're going to get Messiah 11 and Valley on our court again. By playing the likes of Eastern and Juniata, we're, we're going to get nothing but better. Sure. You know, because that's the level, and the kids really love that level of play. So our goal is to get better. If we can get better in regional rankings and if we don't win the conference tournament, You're then we're looking position. at the at-large and we're in position. So yeah. because of the scheduling and who we're playing, we're in position maybe to go either way. Now, what happens is if we win our conference tournament and do well in these games, then our seeding in the mm -hmm. NCAA gets better. Yeah. You know, so then maybe we get a third or second seed, and then we play a seventh seed in that first round, right. maybe make it a <laughs> They're all a little good. bit easier, yeah. but yeah. but at On least paper, positions you easier. correctly yeah. Yeah. for the yeah. way you want to make a run exactly. in the NCAA tournament. So yeah. all the games all season long are important. Obviously, the games coming up just this week alone coming mm -hmm. up are important. Uh, give everybody kind of a breakdown of who you guys have. Uh, we're talking on a Tuesday, by the way, so he's going to mention right. a game that right. uh, we're going to air this on Wednesday, but right. you, your first game's on Tuesday. Yeah, well, we play Widener tonight, and that, that is huge, and they're probably going to be one of the fourth or fifth place teams, one of those two. But right. I think they've lost a lot coming, so they may be fifth. Uh, the way they're standing right now. So what we're going up on their court, you just never know what you're going to no, get when you go to somebody else's yeah. court. Then on Thursday, we travel to Catholic. Yeah. Uh, Catholic has some, had some really big wins this year, and they've had some, some not so, you know, lost a couple of matches, and you kind of scratch your head. Sure. Uh, but they're a good team. They're a good team. They're be, you know, I think they're probably being talked about uh, in reg regionally. And then Saturday, um, conference matches, we have a tri-match hood like homing at hood. Mm -hmm. So we'll play three conference matches this week, yeah. and we need to win all three to put ourselves, and then we'll finish up with senior night, yeah. uh, Arcadia on the 22nd, and then we have our on the 27th or 8th, yeah. uh, the following Tuesday. So, and that's, that's it. And then so, we'll Muhlenberg on the weekend. Exactly. So a big week ahead just in conference action. We'll catch up with the team on the other side of the weekend on the road. So you can either follow them online at GoMustangSports.com or make the trip if you want to make the trip to Catholic <laughs> great. on Thursday. It's not that far down in Washington, D.C. Right. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Good luck this week. Again, we'll catch up with Coach Trumbo and the women's volleyball team coming up next week here on Go Mustang Sports.